Hi, my name is Jian Li Zhao, a research scientist from Professor Gang Yu Liu's group in the Department of Chemistry at the University of California, Davis. This video introduces our work recently published in ACS Nano titled Three-Dimensional Nanoprinting by Scanning Probe Lithography Delivered Layer by Layer Deposition. We present the first 3D printing of customer structures layer by layer with nanometer resolution in all three dimensions. 3D printing has recently progressed immensely, increasing in its capabilities as well as its accessibility. For instance, everything from machine components to toys to organs to customer home appliances can all be printed. While 3D printing of micrometer objects has been well developed, further miniaturization to the nanometer scale is the next key research direction due to its potentially powerful applications in nano devices, molecular electronics, and tissue engineering. However, 3D nanoprinting has been challenging due to the difficulties of delivering minute amounts of materials with nanometer precision. We have developed a method to address these technical challenges, combining the spatial precision of an atomic force microscope, also known as an AFM, with the surface chemistry of polyelectrolyte-based materials. Now, a little bit about the hardware. Hi, I am Logan Swartz, co-author and member of Professor Liu's lab. This is our state-of-the-art AFM. The key component for performing material printing is a sharp needle known as an AFM cantilever. Your shape can be seen from this enlarged image. The apex of the probe is about 10 nanometers. Piezoelectric based movement enables the precision positioning with sudden nanometer accuracy. Our ink is aqueous based, consisting of positive and negative charged polymers, mixed with high concentration of salt. We modified the formulation to obtain a required viscosity and delivery efficiency. After dipping our AFM probe into a droplet of the ink to coat the tip, we move the probe to a designated location and lower it to be in contact with the surface. Then the tip scans the surface on a custom designed trajectory, as can be seen here, while keeping consistent tip surface contact to maintain the same line width. We can control the height of the features by increasing the number of passes with increment precision of less than a nanometer per pass. These are some examples of the nanostructures we produced. First, our two lines cross. At the crossing, the line stacked with a height equal to the sum of the heights of the two lines. Next is a square pyramid printed layer by layer, just like normal 3D printing. We created a tiered pyramid by printing a square on the surface and layering subsequently concentric squares on top of it. This showed we were able to stack each nano layer on top of each other with each layer being its own design. The face of the pyramid measures 11.5 microns squared, and the topmost layer is 500 nanometers squared. The height of each layer measures 0.4 nanometers. We plan to further improve this technology by deepening our fundamental understanding of the local surface chemistry at the very tip of the probe, in the capillary formed between the probe and the substrate and on the substrate. Also, our polyelectrolyte-based inks have been widely used to couple with other nano-objects such as nanoparticles, proteins, DNA, biomolecules, drugs, etc. So many functionalities can be incorporated into this 3D nanoprinting process by formulating polyelectrolyte complex inks doped with other functional nano objects. Thank you for watching. Bye!